if you stab this frozen lake in the right place, you can light it on fire. But it's not the water that's flammable. It's actually what's bubbling up from the lake floor. These aren't your average lakes. They're called thermokarst lakes, and they're filled with highly flammable methane gas. During the summer, the gas bubbles to the surface and enters the atmosphere. But in the winter, the bubbles get trapped under the ice. So when you stab the frozen surface, it releases pockets of the gas that you can then light up. It may look like a fun party trick, but there's more to this effect than meets the eye. Methane isn't just highly flammable, it's also a potent greenhouse gas, 25 times more efficient at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. And these methane-filled lakes are popping up everywhere in Alaska and Siberia. In 2017 alone, 200 new thermokarst lakes were photographed in Siberia. So where are they all coming from? They're actually remnants from the last ice age, Around 11,000 years ago, these areas used to be frozen soil and ice. We call these frozen underground layers today permafrost. But it's not permafrost that's the problem. It's rising global temperatures, which is causing the permafrost to thaw for the first time in thousands of years. Since the 1980s, permafrost in Alaska has warmed by one and a half degrees Celsius, almost twice as much compared to how much it warmed between 1880 and 1980. And when permafrost thaws, it weakens the ground above it, which can destroy roads, damage building foundations, and even split a tree in two. In the process, it releases a buffet of long dead plants and animals on the lake floor. And that's where the real trouble starts. Tiny microbes called methanogens eat the dead matter and produce, you guessed it, methane. And the more lakes that form means more ancient food for microbes and ultimately more methane that reaches the atmosphere. Right now, little is being done to slow the formation of thermokarst lakes around the globe. And if you burn the methane as it bubbles to the surface, it can reduce the greenhouse effect, but only slightly. Since lighting it on fire turns it into carbon dioxide and water vapor, two other potent greenhouse gases. In the end, it's up to us to reduce our own emissions because lighting lakes on fire isn't